Russell Walger. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Mazda North American Operations. Um, over the last several years, uh, we've been introducing a lot of our sixth generation products is what we call them. And we're just finishing that uh, with the latest release of our MX-5 uh, retractable fastback, the RF. Um, but we started way back uh, with Mazda 3, Mazda 6, uh, the CX-5, um, and then the three-row SUV, the CX-9. Now that we have that out there, um, customers are noticing that it's all under the same styling of uh, Kodo design. Um, they are now seeing that Skyactiv technology is in every single one of our, our models. Um, our iActive safety sense is in every single one of them. So we see more and more people coming uh, to the Mazda brand than they've ever before. And we also see owners' um, loyalty increasing uh, year over year as well. We don't like to use the word luxury. We like to use the word premium. The styling on our cars, absolutely, you can put it against any premium make um, and it can hold its own. O on top of that, we are also seeing customers that are willing to pay more for Mazdas because it's a great value, um, not only from the design standpoint, but the way it rides um, with the Skyactiv technology uh, and the amenities and technologies that are in the vehicle, so much so that in any one of the segments we compete in, uh, we are either number one or two as far as customers willing to pay more uh, for our products. We, for the fourth year in a row, uh, the EPA, uh, not an awards company, the EPA, the government that does the official uh, analysis of fuel economy, uh, awarded us as the most fuel efficient brand. Again, um, we have no hybrids uh, in our lineup. Uh, we have no electric vehicles in our lineup. Uh, we recognize that most people want to buy a, a gas engine. They just would like it to be a little more fuel efficient. Our vehicles all have the most fuel efficient engines um, with our Skyactiv technology. Not only is it fuel efficient, it is a great performance uh, element that is more than just an engine. It's the drivetrain. It's the, the fact that the body is made out of aluminum, um, very strong aluminum, um, that makes it for an overall technology uh, efficiency. One of the biggest challenges we always talk about is a perception versus reality. Um, the reality is that Mazda products are, are superior quality, um, so much so that Consumer Reports constantly puts us uh, number one or two in our segments and always recommends our, our vehicles. The perception is that we're the middle of the pack in consumers' minds. So our biggest challenge is trying to close that gap to let people know that Mazda is a quality uh, design product, um, as well as being fun to drive, as well as being fuel efficient. You know, it, everyone sits there and says if you drive a vehicle that you learn a little bit more about it. But what we've found is when customers get into a Mazda, um, they're expecting to have a, a good driving vehicle, but it always exceeds their expectations. And with some of our latest technologies, we now have Skyactiv Vehicle Dynamics uh, with G-Vectoring Control. They're constantly trying, our engineers are constantly trying to improve the ride performance to make it so that when you're in, in that seat, and you're telling the car to go a certain direction, it responds instantaneously, or as like we like to talk about, it's the Jinbai Tai philosophy, oneness with the car and driver. Uh, later this uh, spring, we're gonna be releasing the all new um, 2017 uh, CX-5. Uh, we're still selling the, the last uh, of our previous generation. Matter of fact, in January, we had our best January ever uh, for CX-5. So it just shows that there's a strong demand for that product. Um, we're going to make over 600 improvements between the outgoing generation and the one that you see behind me. Um, and again, each one of them is designed to make the driving experience uh, or the uh, premium experience of the vehicle that much better for our customers.